have been working in this old vineyard. Where I worked in through the storm and rain. But there's a few more showers on this old body of mine. I'll be listening to the America will never forget Hurricane Katrina. On the morning of August 29, 2005, Katrina made landfall on the Gulf Coast. The storm surge caused catastrophic damage along the coastlines of Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. America's deadliest storm since 1928 and costliest ever, Katrina killed over 1,400 people and caused $75 billion in damages. The storm also devastated more than 1,000 local water systems, leaving at least 2.4 million people without access to safe drinking water. Since 1998, Water Missions International has been providing safe water for community development and disaster relief outside the United States. We never dreamed we'd provide water in the United States. Before Katrina, we'd always worked in developing countries, but when Katrina hit, we knew we had to help. Providing drinking water in a disaster situation in the United States presents many difficulties we don't encounter in a developing country. One challenge was the living water treatment system, which can provide enough safe water for 5,000 people, but it is not permitted for use in the United States. Water missions receive special permission from the Mississippi governor's office to use the systems there, but it still could not be used in Louisiana. This situation prompted water missions to develop a system that could be used anywhere in the United States. The new system combines a reverse osmosis unit with a living water treatment system. The living water treatment system reverse osmosis unit is trailer mounted for easy transport and includes a generator so that the entire system is self-contained. Eight of these new systems were sent to coastal Louisiana and Mississippi. The water treatment systems were installed in churches, schools, feeding centers, and shelters. While installing systems in Mississippi, volunteers reported a great need that was going unmet. Many residents had received trailers from FEMA, but were unable to move into them because they did not have a water supply. To address this issue, Water Missions International launched the Rural Mississippi Well Rehabilitation Program. Dozens of volunteers spent weeks in Mississippi repairing nearly 400 wells. The Pentair Corporation donated 180 of the 400 pumps that were used for well repair. The volunteers for this project included employees of Charleston Water System, Mount Pleasant Water Works, and Jasper Buford Water and Sewer. I'd like to thank Water Mission International for giving us an opportunity to come down along with our company, CPW to get involved in what's going on in the Mississippi um, Gulf area because these people really need help and I'm just happy to be a part of it. It's a humbling and learning experience, one I will never forget. An estimated 2,500 people benefited from the well rehabilitation program. Here's what a few of them had to say about the help they received from Water Missions International. I think the first help we had was from Water Missions because you can't do anything without water. We'll certainly always be grateful to you all for on the pumps and it's been a very reliable pump. We have. The first thing I noticed is the water pressure was so much better. <laughs> I could actually take a shower and, and I had water pressure. That was great. And, and then the second thing I noticed is that um, the quality was better. When I say thank you now, it's very heartfelt. And that's, that's the two words that I would say. Be thank you. Had a little bit of water in our bottles, you know, that we had we used. But the first few days we was running out of that, you know. So when we got we got water and was able to get a bath and things like that, it was really great. We had 27 people that took showers <clears throat> while they was helping us with our house. And then you folks appeared, and it was like a miracle dropped out of the sky. You folks had to come in with all the graciousness of your heart to help us. Uh, they'd never have water literally would never have it again. I think the best thing that happened over here during the, during the whole process was when we got water. Thank you oh, so thank much. You very, with all of our much. hearts. With thank all you. of our hearts. Very thank much. you.
We appreciate it. We get to take baths now, and I've got a washer and dryer, and I've got water oh. running in my tub, and I get to wash dishes. Without that pump and tank, we may have been without water for a while. And I don't know the people personally, but I would sure love to thank them. And, and if any time I ever get on my feet and I can return the favor, I'll be glad to do it. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. The damage caused by Hurricane Katrina will take years, even decades, to repair. The lives of the people who survived the storm will never be the same. The disaster has really been heartbreaking, but in any disaster, you need to look for the good, and the good from this disaster is the outpouring of love, people coming together, giving to help ease the suffering. Our Lord commanded us to love one another. Wouldn't it be incredible if we could love one another without a disaster? More than a thousand donors contributed to Water Missions International for Hurricane Katrina relief. To everyone who gave, we say thank you. We would especially like to thank Pentair and Variety Children's Lifeline for their support. Dozens of volunteers from all over the country spent weeks on the Gulf Coast repairing wells. Several companies sponsored their employees to participate in the well rehabilitation program. Volunteers were a vital part of the relief effort. To all of you who gave selflessly of your time, who sacrificed your own comfort to provide water to the people who had lost so much, thank you. You are the heroes of this story.